Oz. Well, this is very telling. Listen to Dr. Oz. What he tells people to do and what he actually does seems to be very different. All right, in this video, we're going to talk about Dr. Oz. We're going to see exactly how he feels about vaccines. This is his website here. You can see on Google that he's got 47 million results. We'll move on here to his Facebook with over 1,354,000 likes. In Yahoo, when you type his name in, you'll get 129 million results. And on Twitter, he's got 931,140 followers. With such an influence on people and uh, impact of uh, social networking nowadays, let's see exactly what he um, tells people about vaccines and what he really does when it comes to his own family. How do you convince the other parents out there that we need to do this? Yeah, well, I'm going to get it. Yes. If that helps at all, but I'll tell you, my wife is not getting me as her kids. Because I've got four of them, and when I go home, I'm not Dr. Oz, I'm Mr. Oz. <laughs> and my wife is not getting me as her kids. My wife is not getting me as her kids. My wife is not getting me as her kids. Because I've got four of them, and when I go home, I'm not Dr. Oz, I'm Mr. Oz. <laughs> we trusted the scientists back in 1976 with the original swine flu shot, and, and it was a good spin. Right. Not only that, some people died, some people were paralyzed. The shot itself. And yeah. people remember the swine flu vaccine as a terrible disaster. <laughs> this is one time, forget the conspiracy. Listen to our government agencies. These guys are telling the truth. You know, there's no conspiracy here, folks. Just right. get your damn vaccine. Uh, uh, Just right. get your damn vaccine. Uh, uh, right. Just right. get your damn vaccine. Vaccine. The nail on the head. This is going to be a public relations, trust your government and your health officials, public campaign. Mark my word, you and I are going to be talking about this a lot between now and fall. It may look on the CDC website as to what is in the swine flu vaccine. You know, aluminum, insect repellent, formaldehyde, mercury. Yeah. You know, that, you know, aluminum, insect repellent, formaldehyde, mercury. Yeah. You know, that my wife is not getting me as a kiss. You know how children will do what you do as opposed to what you say? I think in this example with Dr. Oz and Mr. Oz, we should um, do exactly what he does and not vaccinate your children. You can find the vaccine exemption forms at experimentalvaccines.org. All right. In closing, when it comes to Dr. Oz, now you know. I will link below to Experimental Vaccines channel. And for the mother who needs help, I my hunch is that there's going to be a lot of information on that channel that will be helpful. Thanks for watching.